In a strategic move to strengthen our defense system, India has successfully test fired an integrated air defense weapon system, which is an indigenous system capable of taking down multiple aerial targets all at the same time. Hello and welcome to Drishti IAS. My name is Saloni Nandkeolir. And in this video, we will understand the tactical significance of this air defense system. So, the DRDO on 24th of August successfully test fired an integrated air defense weapon system off the coast of Odisha. Now, this was very important because earlier we used to have one weapon for one type of target. But under this integrated air defense weapon system, we were able to take down multiple types of aerial threats all at the same time. And even for testing, there were three different types of aerial targets that were used. These targets, they were moving at varying altitudes, at varying speed, at different distances. But the integrated weapon system were able to identify, lock and destroy the targets simultaneously. Now, this is a very big achievement. And the weapons that were used were QRSAM or Quick Reaction Surface to Air Missile, v Shorats, Very Short Range Air Defense System and DEW Directed Energy Weapons. Now, these different types of weapons, they were assigned to different types of aerial targets and this entire weapon system was able to take down all our aerial threats. And who did this assigning? It was the Centralized Command and Control System or Centralized Command and Control Center which acts as the brain of the entire air defense system. Now let us understand the working of this integrated air defense weapon system. So if you look at the keywords here, it is integrated. It is not standalone. Like as I mentioned earlier, we used to have one weapon for one target. Now it's an integrated weapon system where these different types of weapon systems which we saw like QRSAM, v Shorads, and DAWs, these different types of weapons, they are integrated under one system, under one network. So it is multi-layered, it, it has a network, it is integrated and it is 100% indigenous. So it's integrated and defense weapon system because now it's a system. We have one weapon system for different types of threats. Earlier, one weapon, one target. Now we have one weapon system for all types of targets. This is the IADWS. And the different weapons that we have are QRSAM, which have a range of 3 to 30 kilometers, V Shorats, which have a range of 300 meters to 6 kilometers, and DEW, which has a range of less than 3 kilometers. Now, in order to understand the working of IADWS, consider a hypothetical situation, hypothetical war situation. Let's say our army troops, they are moving along the border of Ladakh, and there are some Chinese helicopters, or fighter jets, or loitering munitions, or swarm drones, or UAVs who are scouting the skies and they want to target our army troops. Now, earlier what would have happened, these army troops, they would have relied on machine guns. Let's say machine guns to destroy the helicopters or fighter jets or the drones or they would have asked for help from the air force. But this was comparatively a slower process and a riskier process. Now, under the integrated air defense system, the centralized command and control system which is the brain is actually going to identify all these different types of aerial targets and it is going to assign a weapon for all these different aerial targets at the same time so that within no time these targets can be locked and they can be destroyed. So now we are not relying on one weapon for one target, we are relying on an integrated weapon system for all types of aerial targets. Let's say QRSAM could have taken care of the fighter jets v Shorats could have taken care of the helicopters and DEW which is laser based, this could have taken care of the swarm drones. Because we are now moving into contemporary warfare, into modern warfare, we are now moving away from the traditional warfare and we have been seeing this in the recent conflicts like in uh, India and Pakistan escalation also, in Iran-Israel conflicts also, in Russia-Ukraine war also. We have been seeing use of all these different types of drones and swarm drones, loitering munitions, saturation attacks, all these things keep happening. So we need to keep upgrading our technology and this integrated aerial defense weapon system is a step in that direction. And with this DEW, this laser-based weapon, we have actually joined an elite group. Elite group of countries which have operational laser capacity, operational laser capability. And these, in the, these countries are, now we have us also, US, Russia, China 
and Israel. So we have joined this elite group of US, Russia, China and Israel because now we have operational laser weapon capability. Now let us look at the strategic significance or the battlefield significance here. As I already mentioned, it works in quick response like in no time because it makes use of two types of technologies. First is search on move and second is track on move. Now, how will you identify the aerial targets? You'll make use of radars, right? Now, radars traditionally, they had to be stationary in order to scout the sky and destroy the target or identify the target. But now, these radars, they can even be mounted on a moving vehicle and they can search on the move. So, even while they are moving, they can scout the sky and they can identify the target. So, they can search on the move. And they can also track on the move because searching alone is not sufficient. Once you search it, you also have to lock the target and track the target. So once they have searched the target, these radars are now capable of locking the target and tracking the movement of the target. So all these things, these new radars that are being used in our integrated air defense system, they have the capability of search on move and track on move. So they're very helpful for moving troops, army troops, convoys, regiments. They can be, they can be very, very helpful in these war situations. So one strategic significance is this. And then because it's 100% indigenous, it's fully indigenous, it's being developed by DRDO. QRSAM has been developed by DRDO and the other two weapon systems have been developed by Hyderabad based lab systems. So it's 100% indigenous. So now we do not have to rely on other countries or import weapon systems from them. So this is a step in the direction of Atmanirbhat Bharat. And we also have Sudarshan Chakra mission that our Prime Minister announced on 15th of August. So that was on the lines of Israel's Iron Dome system. So this can also be used as a foundation for achieving the mission Sudarshan Chakra. So it's a very, very strategic, it's a very tactical move. And this air defense system is definitely going to help us in the modern war situations that we keep on finding ourselves in. Because the situation, the geopolitical situation of the entire world right now is very unstable and very critical. So that was all for today's video. I hope you understood everything. Now let us practice the question for prelims. Consider the following statements about the integrated air defense weapon system. One, it integrates missiles and laser-based weapons under a single command and control system. Two, QRSAM, a component of IADWS, has a maximum range of 100 kilometers. And three, directed energy weapons in AIDWS are designed mainly for anti-drone operations. Select the correct answer. 1 and 3 only, 3 only, 2 and 3 only, and 1 only. Please provide your answer in the comment section and we will meet in the next video. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.